And we're back with Melissa Marsden. But Melissa, your background has changed and so is our set with yeah. something that I love. What's going on? Talk to us. Well, I'm switching hats or in this case, maybe I'm switching face masks. <laughs> And I'm putting on another one now for the Mushroom Council. And I'm here to represent the American mushroom farmers in schools. Mm, so mushrooms. what are some of the uh, innovative ways schools are using mushrooms today? Well, mushrooms add such layers of flavors. Asian mm -hmm. dishes are so very popular. Mm -hmm. And we know that right now the self-serve might be a distant past. But we also know that the kids are not going to go away from those needing the flavors. In the meats and in the dishes, there's so many ways that these powerful little mushrooms pack a punch. Great, great. So you have some pretty interesting facts about mushrooms, don't you? Well, we do. We love the fact that mushrooms are local and available in almost every state. But 60% of the mushrooms are grown in Pennsylvania, so the East Coast we know there's plenty of mushroom lovers over there, mm -hmm. but they are growing everywhere and eaten in just about every school in this in this different states. We have from Alabama and Tennessee to California, and we feature on our website real school recipes featuring mushrooms in schools. People think they you order button mushrooms. No, buttons are size of a mushroom. Ah, oh, I did not know that. Fun fact. They grow in beds. And depending on when they're picked uh -huh. and how long that they're able to grow, you can see them there, the different mm -hmm. sizes that are available. Yeah. And so we use a lot of what's called medium mushrooms. And, and that's just what it is. It's a medium mushroom and it's going to quarter so nicely. And if you see the dish of, of roasted mushrooms that are quartered. No, four. quarters, that's four. It's four quarters in whole? Okay. They're so easy to cut and get an even cut and an even cook when you buy the mediums. Mm -hmm. So you'll see those, they go for more. And some people might think, well, food service sounds like a good purchase. And those are all right if you're processing your own. But for most of our kitchens, we don't want to do that. So no. we like to use the, the mediums and uh, not overpay by ordering buttons. They, you pick them very, very young. So you you don't get a lot of volume out of them, so they cost a lot more money. So, well, it's a funny story. I had a chef, and she was doing the most terrible thing you can do to mushrooms. She was uh, rinsing and soaking these mushrooms. Wait, and I said, I shouldn't rinse and soak mushrooms? No, you never <laughs> rinse and soak mushrooms. Why? When you're rinsing and soaking mushrooms, you're taking away all the flavor. Oh. So, there is this lovely contraption. Melissa, tell all the peoples what this is. It's a mushroom brush for brushing the dirt and Here. lightly- Can I have this one? I already own one okay. because I know the correct way to clean a mushroom and that's just to brush the dirt off because you don't want to take away any of that umami flavor. Mm. Say that 10 times fast. Umami, 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 umami. <laughs> Here, brush Can it. I brush it? Brush it. <laughs> this is a baby Bella, right? Baby Bella? Baby Bella. Do you I know have what? a daughter named Bella. Oh, do you? I do. She's yeah. super well, cute. Baby bellas because they're big ones. They're growing up. Siblings are portabellas. Oh, ah. okay. You can see that their veil, veil is all open. Yeah. And that's a mature portabella. But uh -huh. we see a lot more browns. Criminis, mm. portabellas. They're all baby bellas. They're all of the brown. There's Give white. Give me all the mushrooms. <laughs> Give me all the mushrooms. A great plate coverage, as well as an upscale perception when you're mm -hmm. using brown mushrooms or fresh mushrooms in your program. So I have a quick question. Sure thing. If I wanted to use these roasted mushrooms, mm -hmm. how would I utilize them with what, we, with, with what we have here on the table? They came from a recipe from Franklin School District in uh, Indiana, and they served oh. them as a side. They serve oven roasted in a half cup portion, and the kids love it. I serve garlic roasted mushrooms, mm -hmm. and they are delicious, and I love them. Mushrooms are such a great way to add flavor to a dish, and we have a dish that we're gonna add some flavor to, right, Melissa? That's right. When we add it to ramen bowls, or we add it to other stir fries, even an eighth of a cup is enough to really pop mm -hmm. the flavors, especially mm -hmm. if we're looking at a low sodium dish or right. we're looking at the vegetarian base. 
Right. And I'll give the tipper a trick. If you're looking to slice up a bunch of mushrooms, outsource it. Buy them pre-sliced from <laughs> your distributor. And not only do you have the ones there that you see that are the normal thick sliced mushrooms that are about seven slices per quarter cup, but you can buy what's called a thin sliced mushroom in a bucket, all right? And it's become my favorite mushroom to cook with. It's a perfect product, an incredible yield, a reasonable food cost, and a great addition to so many meals today. And remember, so many are family farmers. And like many of our mm -hmm. family farmers, we need to support American farmers. Absolutely. Yeah. That bears repeating. We are supporting American farmers. And I agree that is so very important because without farmers, we don't have food. So a uh, huge shout out to all our farmers <laughs> out there. Thank you for all that you do for all of us in helping us feed hungry kids. And remember, mushrooms are fresh year round mm -hmm. because they're growing inside. You're looking for a harvest of the month or fresh vegetables where there might not be others. You can mm -hmm. always rely on mushrooms to fill in the blanks. When you talk about sustainable, mushrooms are so sustainable mm -hmm. from recycling the bedding that's used to recycling at sure. the end. Everything in between is very low profile with a high density growth. But they grow in my lawn in New Hampshire, so. But, but don't eat those. Don't eat those. Don't eat those. And those. I think that's an important thing to educate our kids too. We don't want them eating those <laughs> mushrooms. We want them eating them in school or from uh, the store, but uh, not from the lawn. Mm -hmm. um, and just real quickly, Melissa, you have some beautiful things. You have some raw mushrooms here. And all we've done with these raw mushrooms, we just, we've just put some dressing on those, right? And kept those mushrooms delicious. Absolutely. Any any type of dressing from Italian to Asian flavors can all work with mushrooms. You can do a mixed vegetable salad. But when mm -hmm. you're adding, you want to add some marinated uh, mushrooms to an Italian club salad. What a nice Ooh. way to kick up the flavors and yet not sog out on it because they're going to help. At the same time, they absorb all that extra moisture. So remember, they'll absorb any flavor you give them. Right, they will absorb. And over here, they've absorbed some EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. I had no idea what that meant. Uh, you're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> and we have just dust these with salt and pepper. So here you see the raw quartered, and then they shrink a skosh, and they're delicious. We may have eaten a couple before we said action. Sorry, folks, <laughs> but they were just too good to resist. Melissa, so easy to do, what a great idea, and it just shows the versatility of the mushroom. Standalone or as a customized upgrade, mushrooms are a great healthy addition to school menus. And one that kids really appreciate when mm. they're offered. I really think that the gatekeepers here think the kids aren't eating mushrooms and they're eating them everywhere. American made, American farmers, American mushrooms. That's right. Amazing, amazing. What incredible information. Mm -hmm. We love mushrooms. You love mushrooms. We all love Everybody mushrooms. Everybody should love mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Melissa, for sharing with us today. Thank you so much for having me and have a great day. Chefs have incorporated mushrooms into their menus for years, and for good reason. Mushrooms are not only flavorful and versatile, they're also nutritional powerhouses with immune-boosting vitamin D and selenium. They're cost-effective and often locally grown, a plus for school meals. Visit mushroomsinschool.com to explore our delicious mushroom recipes, watch our culinary training video, and download our food literacy lessons. Perfect for introducing mushrooms to students. You'll love how easy it is to put mushrooms on the menu.